Welcome to another episode of The Collector's Review. In this episode, I got my hands on one of the two packs of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, Casey Jones and Raphael in disguise. So make sure you stay tuned. Welcome to another episode of The Collector's Review. You guys, I finally got my hands on this. I had to stop at, I want to say, probably like eight Walmarts just to get my hands on one of them. I was on the way to the parents for the 4th of July and uh, 4th of July weekend and I had seen this at one Walmart because I stopped at like five on the way there. But finally did wasn't able to get my hands on it online because it was very hard they went in like 15 seconds I'm still waiting for the two packs of uh, Leonardo Donatello um, you know so they got those two packs there's three more two packs coming out the foot soldiers and everything I'll put them on the screen here 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 and those should be hitting stores very soon today yesterday so and they have a lot more coming out through target exclusives i really didn't like how walmart did the the releases of them it was a little pretty pretty crappy and uh some most of them are only getting two of these per store so i was able to get my hands on this bad boy right here 50 bucks going for like 150 online now, if you guys know, I am a big Ninja Turtle fan, man, since a kid. This especially this one because this was this movie I grew up on. And this action figure right here, man, NECA has been uh, doing a thing with the detail and everything. Hopefully everything with the articulation and with, you know, parts breaking and everything on these action figures doesn't, don't happen. I'm real excited for this, man. I really want to make a diorama for this. I think it would be pretty dope. I've seen a lot of people with these now, and all of them are loving it. Uh, they're talking about them coming out with an exclusive one of Casey Jones on Mask. See if that happens. And on Turtle Tuesday, yesterday, they just uh, released a, what the San Diego Comic-Con exclusives of the Ninja Turtles. So I'm going to be releasing a video on that, so make sure you guys keep up. And while I'm doing this unboxing, like always, like, share, and subscribe. Trying to give you guys the best I got. Thank you for guys for getting me over 7,000 on my way to 10,000. And I'm planning a big uh, giveaway. So make sure you guys keep your eyes peeled. And I'm going to be doing it soon. So let's get to unboxing this one. Alright, I thought that was pretty cool. You see the sewer? Sorry, the reflection, I know. Let me see. Here, let me turn the light away. No, is that darker? So you got the sewer. So pretty dope. Now let's get to the bad boys themselves. The bad boy of the hour. Everybody's been wanting this guy. And the boy Ralph. Look at those figures. The trench coat. It's alright. Uh, the look of it, I kind of go back and forth tell me what you guys think do you guys think it's a nice trench coat backpack is dope nice stitching on the trench coat though I just don't like the look of it kind of looks I don't know maybe messing it with it a little bit can't wait to check out the articulation man I've been wanting to get these ever since I seen them come out and I heard Walmart was dropping them and I was like, uh, so let me, uh, I ain't heat them up neither, man. So give me a second. I'm going to heat them up real quick. Heated them up. Let's start with Casey Jones and I'll go through Casey Jones and all his accessories and then Raphael and his. So... <clears throat> Start with the head. Head up. Head down. Not bad. Side. Side. One side. Other side, not much of a tilt. Still okay. Arm out. Still be gentle. He seems pretty flexible. Arms out. 
elbows. <clears throat> his middle elbow joint, that's nice. He can touch his face. He has a little bit of a chest, so forward hunched, then back, waist. Splits, knee bent, forward, not bad figure, so down, up, I know you guys could probably hear the rain outside man, it's hot as, hot as hell up in the shop right now, jacket moves around, got some blue stains right there. Jacket's real nice, like you could take it off if you take off his arms. And his accessories that he comes with are pretty dope. You have people online that have taken off the mask to see what's under there. But, uh, and there is a face under there. They just gotta remake a new one. That would be dope if uh, this came off. That would have been real cool. But stand him up right there and let's look at his accessories real quick which I think are dope oh yeah let me move them out the way real quick look at that start with the small one the paddle looking beautiful love the detail in it love the detail in it. I can't wait for the new ones to cut the other two packs to come out I'ma scoop those and I'll probably do a video uh, to see if they're any different than the GameStop ones that came out. So this is real nice. Let's say. There you go. That's slick, man. I love the detail and how these look. Here got a big boy right here. Look at that detail. Then the golf club. Yeah, they they really uh, hit it with the detail on this. Here goes his bag. Really nice. And he also comes with three sets of hands. So these are all the hands. So I can hold, a lot of them are to hold the sticks. with different hands so each one is very detailed though look at that love it man they really hit it knocked it out the park with this one I think this figure is like perfect man so let's look at Ralph Raphael and the jacket does come off so you can Tie it and untie it. And let's see. I want the jacket to come off a little bit. There we go. Eh, see like that. I don't like as much. Because I want pictures with the jacket open. Unless that's how it was in the movie. But don't think so. Love the detail in the face. I, I The GameStop ones that they had were just... Uh, dope as hell. I, I loved them. I don't know if you guys seen those videos. I also did a unboxing of uh, the fake versus real on those. I gotta get the single ones. I was thinking about get the single ones. If you guys want me to get the single ones to do a separate unboxing of those. Let's look at articulation before I start moving them around. So head up. Down. Works pretty good arm out that's his arm out 
elbow. I don't get that much bend from the elbow. Looks like it's about right there. And I know you could take the jacket off and everything, so let me show you guys the jacket real quick. Stitches on the jacket are nice. Sorry. Book bag's real dope. Let me uh, take this off of them real quick and see what it's like. All right. Look at the articulation from this point real quick. Arm. Elbow bent. Could touch his face. Both. He has an upper torso right here. So he can move a little bit on the inside of the turtle shell. Love that, man. They really knocked it out the park with these um, turtle action figures from the 90s. Knee bent. That's about as far as it'll go. Straight out. Splits. Wish he had a little bit more flexibility, but I guess this is the disguise one, so you don't need that much. But man, dope. Love it. The look at the back shell. So when he leans forward, I don't know if that's supposed to be like that's about to pop off. It looks like so mine came loose a little bit right there. You see that where it has that gap right there. I don't think that's supposed to be there. I think it's supposed to be like that and not move, but still very dope. Let's look at the jacket real quick for you guys. More detailed. Look at the stitching on the inside. Real nice. Look at his weapons real quick. Comes with the two bats. Love it. Look at these bad boys. And again, the detail. NECA, you guys really knocked it out the park with the detail and making them look realistic. Beautiful. Good job, guys. Then we have... these bad boys and again the detail on these are beautiful the pizza of course there we go that one slice of pizza then he also comes with his hat let's see don't stick on them that well. There we go. Mm. No, don't stick on them that great. And there's a hole. Okay, so there's a hole. That's cool. There's a hole to go in. That's why. So there's a hole in the back. I didn't know that. Sorry, guys. There's a hole right there that you can pop this off you pop his bandana off and you can put the hat on but you get what I'm saying then the last pieces he has two bandanas that he comes with And then he has two sets of hands. And that is it. This figure though, man, really fell in love with it. I don't know if you guys like it. I, I really do like everything that they did with it. Hopefully when they come out with the super shredder i don't know if you guys seen pictures of the super shredder look at the super shredder real quick looks very dope so i don't know if uh when they come out with the super shredder if it's gonna be the same thing if it's gonna be uh as hard as it was to get these by these guys i think so um online bots are really people with bots are really able to scoop up all the ones online so I don't know what it's going to be like. And then Target is supposed to be releasing the 
the uh, cartoon versions of uh, different figures. I'll be doing videos on that turtle time guys so make sure you guys look out i'm gonna be dropping some more videos about the turtles and everything that NECA has coming and everything that they're coming out with soon so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button trying to get to 10k and i'm gonna keep on dropping videos and keep on coming at you guys trying to give you guys the best that i got i'm out peace